Yeah, cut what I said, yeah. <laughs> so, what do you cut? Welcome, folks, to the first episode of the Pet Mark podcast. So, if you're wondering what we're doing sitting here and why we're not out getting some street food today, well, it's because we're experimenting with a little video where we don't just want to be talking amongst ourselves about kind of different topics related to us and Thailand and traveling but also potentially interviewing some Thai entrepreneurs and business owners in the future. Today's topic is talking about why we decided to move our family to a small town in Thailand. I think it kind of really started off with the idea that we came over from the UK, didn't we? And I needed to get my Thai ID, my passport sorted out. So yeah, that's pretty much where it started, isn't it? Yeah, so having all of the family members uh, or most of the family members around this area, which is a little small little town in Buriam district, um, has been extremely helpful for us to get that process just, you know, going smoothly, I yeah. guess we could say. We did think maybe Chiang Mai and Koh Panyang could be really good options for us, but, you know, our baby is small. <laughs> she doesn't need much, so... Being around here, actually, you know, it's, it just felt like a good, a good decision, mainly because we have family here, Earl's family, um, who has been very, very great at helping us out when it comes to sorting out all of the paperwork and driving us all around <laughs> to get all of that stuff sorted. And now they're helping out with the family visa. Yeah, so I think, you know, as Karina mentioned, my family has been extremely helpful. And I'm actually just gonna take a moment to give a really quick shout out to my mum who, you know, I just wanna directly point out, she has been just a tremendous help. You know, she's kind of been right at the top, just kind of like organizing everything and everyone. So mum, if you're watching, which I know you are, Thank you so much, but I know I've thanked my Thai family a couple times in past videos, but I will just take a moment to do it again as well. And yeah, folks, I know, you know, I've spoken about in recent videos how all of the documents have come through. So I do have my Thai ID card. I do have my Thai passport. We're all kind of working on learning the Thai language a bit better now. And as Karina mentioned, yeah, we are in the process of going for the family certificate but in order to do that we actually need to send our marriage certificate over to the thai embassy in denmark to get an apostle stamp on there and then we need to receive it back in order to make that application so we're still kind of deciding at the moment whether we are going to extend the visa for another 30 days here or kind of what we're going to do but you know in the meantime that's where we are at with where we're living another massive upside for you has been you're able to practice your thai because people here speak quite a bit less English than main cities like Bangkok, for example, or the cities that we were probably initially planning on living in, Chiang Mai, Koh Phangan. That's right. Yeah, no, that's absolutely right. And to be honest, that's not actually something that I really took into account. You know, I've been pretty good the last sort of two or three times coming to Thailand in really putting my foot down and making an effort to speak as much Thai as I possibly can. So perhaps you've noticed a bit on the videos, you know, I will always try to speak Thai first to a Thai person. Unless we've had a conversation before and their English is very good, then it just kind of feels a bit silly. So we just speak in English, but you know, wherever I have an opportunity, I will speak Thai. And of course, the more Thai I can speak, the faster I'm going to be able to become fluent. So I'm quite a way off, but I'm getting there. And, and yeah, obviously, in, as Karina mentioned, Bangkok, Koh Phangan, Chiang Mai, no problem at all, but often one of the annoying things for me that I find is that I'm not able to speak as much Thai because if I try and speak Thai with someone, maybe they can even understand even though my accent pronunciation is not the best, but often they would just speak to me in English, which it's not their fault, it's not their problem, but for me it's just not, it's not the best situation, so that's definitely an upside of, of being here. Now, another point is actually going to be the cost of living. Now, I know that all over Thailand, you can get some pretty good deals on food, accommodation, and things alike. But particularly this small town, I mean, have you noticed much of a difference in terms of the cost of living? Maybe the accommodation, maybe where we are now, things like food and general necessities compared to Bangkok, Chiang Mai, other places you've been? Yeah, so going out and getting a morning smoothie is probably half the price than what we would usually pay in Bangkok. In hindsight, it's just a few cents here and there that we're saving but you know it all adds up at the end and if you 
if you think about how much we go out and buy things like smoothies and stuff like that, at the end of the year, I think there, there might be a little bit of a difference. This wasn't exactly a reason, but being here is another thing. Another thing that I noticed is that you get more of a sense of the culture, the real true culture. Thai people doing things very traditionally for themselves rather than for the tourists. And I love being able to see that side of Thailand. Yeah, no, absolutely. I agree. That's definitely a, a very, very valid point. A lot of tourists don't realize is when they go to more of the populated areas, such as a Kasan Road on Bangkok, it's very typical to get the tourist experience of Thailand, which there will be a small element of the Thai culture coming through, but you're never really going to get a sense of the, the true raw Thai culture unless you get away from all of that and just go to an area, if you're fortunate enough to go somewhere where there are virtually no foreigners in an area where we are like now. Another really important reason is really getting our value for money. So if we were to be renting a place, say in Koh Panyang, Bangkok or something like that, then for the price of what we're paying for rent here, we just wouldn't get a place with as much space. And having a baby, we really thought that that was gonna be one of the most important things, making sure that when she can walk and run around, she would have the space, you know, making sure that if we got any sort of dogs, they could run around, our cat being in here as well, having the space to actually roam around. Now, another really big reason that Karina and I had discussed a bit before coming here is the fact that it was a smaller town and generally the locals tend to be a little bit more patient with foreigners because even though I am technically a Thai citizen, we're both still pretty much foreigners. And Karina, as we went out on our walk today, you did mention to me how fairly soon, or maybe if not already, a lot of these locals in the town where we are now are probably going to know who we are. Yeah. Yes. We came here twice before this time round. Yeah, I think and so. And yeah. this morning we went for a walk and people who are already, who are always kind of sitting in that spot were just, so mm. Um People were just saying hi, left, right and center. So it's nice that, I don't know, I like that sort of connection where you go out and people kind of just want to say hi to you and they kind of know that you live around the corner and you can have a little chat. I can't speak Thai yet, but hopefully soon I'll be able to go to school and be able to have these conversations. But in the meantime, <laughs> he can have basic level conversations in Thai and it's just really nice. So the locals are so friendly and it seems like they've got genuine interest in you know, saying hi to us when we, <laughs> when they see us walk, walk by. That's really nice. I think in a very big city, you don't really get that. I come from a little, a little island and so there's a lot of that. And so it kind of brings me back home a little bit. Yeah, and I would also add to that actually, I just remembered I went out to get us a couple of really nice soups today from one of our local food vendors in the Lotus shopping mall. And she actually asked me, where's baby Asia? So I actually remembered her name. And I thought, oh, that's, that's, you know, that's pretty nice because if we've only introduced Asia to her maybe the one time. Ages know. ago. Yeah, quite a while ago as well. We have noticed that we go out and this random man just comes and says, Asia! <laughs> We're like, I'm sure we have not met this person. 100% sure. And you're very good with faces. I'm like, I've, I've, not, seen this, I've not seen this man before. Have we seen this man before? And you say, definitely not. So, <laughs> and he would just come, he knows her name already, and he just comes and says, Asia, hey Asia, and starts interacting with her. I thought it was the, the sweetest thing because where I come from in London, that's, that's not really something that, that happens very often, especially if they don't know you or if you haven't had that initial interaction before. I mean, we have not interacted with this man before. He just knows, oh, that's Asia over there. I'm just going to go say hi. And that's, that's really nice. And this is the sort of connection that I talk about that I really, really enjoy. I feel like I'm a people person. I like being around people. And I, love, I love having conversations with people. And I just like that, you know, the, I just love being with people. So that is a, a huge plus, in my opinion. And even just... You know, the other day we bumped into my uncle Ed and his wife at Robinson's. That was going back a little while and and then, yeah, that, that was pretty funny. And then before that, or in that market video that we put out for you guys at the municipal market, maybe if some of you saw that one, we bumped into my 
mum's auntie just link, by link, chance. Link the, the market up yeah, there. Yeah, the try to link it there. So, yeah, <laughs> it's just kind of, you know, it's really easy to bump into people you know here, which, yeah, it, it is nice, yeah. Yeah, I like that. You know, you don't, you don't really expect it. And then, oh, that's, oh, hi. Yeah. It's like we were coming, we were coming back to... Um, so we had to arrive from Bangkok. We took the plane to Buriram Airport and we already had a driver driving us back. But then your uncle was there mm. and he was the one who drove us there initially yeah. to, to go to Bangkok. And yeah. he said, oh, you're coming back with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, we actually, we've got a driver right here. What are you doing here? It's like if he was coming to pick us up and he already, it's like if he had that telepathy and he, <laughs> oh no, I'm just dropping off my son. So yeah. this is the sort of thing that is, it's, it's just awesome. <laughs> I love it. It's something very weird is I usually like the quiet lifestyle because I come from a little island where everything is nice and quiet, but it's not really because you've got like a lot of street parties going on and stuff like that. But, you know, it's just, it's very enclosed and very, you know, it's like what I was saying, like it's a big community just together. Um, so I've never really been much of a city person, but that being said, I do enjoy cities here in Thailand because they're just so different than what, I, than what I'm used to. So, um, like, yeah, but to take a step back from that, I do really enjoy, like, the quiet atmosphere of being just a little bit away from all of that. And if I had to choose, which we actually have chosen, <laughs> um... I like the lifestyle more of having our base in a bit of a quiet area and then when I want the hustle and bustle I just go and so that's what we've been doing so far now we might you know get tired of this and we might change our mind and you know maybe in a year or two we might decide let's go to Chiang Mai let's, let's just, just live there and see how it and see what happens or let's go to Bangkok which is even more madness but for now with a little baby I think just being able to enjoy the quiet and the peacefulness of this small little town it's just it's just lovely yeah i agree no it is really nice being here and you know yeah i didn't think honestly i i would like it as much as i do but i'm gl really glad we made the decision based on all the reasons to come in so yeah it's really great now karina you mentioned something about the local food options as well that you appreciated from being in this small town oh yeah the food here is different so you have your traditional Thai food, of course, but then every now and then you'll come across something that you can't actually get in other areas of Thailand, or you probably can, but it's very harder to find. One of my favorite breakfast options here in Thailand actually comes from this town. So if I'm going to be in Chiang Mai or in Bangkok, it's going to be quite difficult for me to find it. And there's those little fried things that we have on the municipal market video that comes with a bit of a sweet and spicy sauce. I should learn the name for those. And I should learn how to make them myself, actually. So good, so delicious. But as far as I know, you can really only get them around here. And aside from that, there's... We have been introduced to some other dishes where, you know, we have been told that, oh no, this is typical from this area, specifically of Thailand. And Thailand is very big and this is just a tiny little town. So it kind of feels like you are in on something more exclusive, like you're like a VIP and like, I get to try this. <laughs> so yeah, I really love that about about living in a small town. So yeah guys, you know, if you enjoy this kind of show, we're thinking about maybe doing it every one to two weeks. If you guys enjoy it, make sure you smash the like button and let us know in the comment section below here, really important, if there's any topics that are related to Thailand, traveling Southeast Asia, or maybe some people you want us to try and see if we can interview on the Petmark podcast, then let us know in the comments guys. And also I just want to take a moment to say from Karina and I in Asia, we really do thank all the new influx of subscribers that have come in over the last couple of months. It's been a tremendous level of support. We've had, honestly, just so much more growth in just such a short time than we thought we would. And we're just very grateful, you know. We are really doing all of the content from the bottom of our hearts. And like I said on the live stream the other day, what you're going to see on the channel is what you're going to get from us in real life. It's always going to be our authentic selves all of the time and we're just going to try and bring you a, a slightly different, unique view of Thailand than perhaps maybe some of the other channels. You're going to get a bit of insight into a lot of what the real Thai culture is like as well as, you know, some other fun 
things as well. So yeah, if you enjoy it, smash a like, subscribe, make sure you turn the notification bell on. And is there anything you want to say to them before we go? Well, I'll just add to that. We, yeah. we'll, we'll be showcasing a little bit more of the traditional Thai lifestyle. But that being said, we're also making a bit of a mishmash of different things on the channel. Like we are yeah. doing a bit of cooking and experimenting with that. Yeah. And we just, we're doing several things really. In, you know, maybe a little bit similar to what other people are doing as well, but also you also gonna have the other side of things where we are gonna be doing things a little bit more, you know, traditional and um, different. Yeah. So I think you might be able to get a bit more of a broader kind of spectrum of what's happening in Thailand if, if you're not from here. Yeah. Um, if you are from here, then <laughs> it might just be something fun to watch. <laughs>